What's up everybody? Today we're going to learn a self-work and magic trick called the Gemini Twins. So today's trick is a nice easy self-work and card magic trick which you can do with a borrowed deck, do not be set up, nothing like that. Once you have the borrowed deck, you can do a shuffle, spectator can shuffle the deck, anything you want because it's not set up. So what I'm going to do for the trick, I'm just going to look through and I'm going to pick out two prediction cards. So there's one, and there's the other one. So as you can see here, these are my two prediction cards. So I have the Seven of Hearts and the King of Hearts. And what I can do is, I'm going to give you the deck, so you hand the deck off to a spectator. What you're going to do is have the deck face down like this with the spectator's hand. What they're going to do is take the cards and they're going to deal them on a table. You can also do it dealing in your hand or someone else's hand. So now you have those two prediction cards. You're going to tell the spectator to deal the cards down. And as you've predicted these cards, you know that's where the spectator is going to stop. It's a free choice. They can stop whenever they want. As long as they deal the cards down, they can stop. So for this example, I'm just going to start dealing the cards down. If I was a spectator, I would say... I would stop right there. Now what you can do is you say my prediction card I'm going to put on the top of there and the spectator puts the rest of the deck on. So now your prediction card is in the deck face off. What you're going to do is get the spectator to deal down again and whenever they want to they can stop. So that one there. So you take the prediction card, put that on top, put the rest of the cards on top. Now what you can do is if you look through the deck here when you're looking through, you take out the prediction card and the card on top. The same with this one here. So you can put the deck away. And now we're dealing with this bit here. So as you can see here, you've got your two prediction cards and two face down cards. And this, when you turn them over, is where the spectator stopped and it's their prediction card and that is the Gemini Twins. Now we're going to discuss the basic mechanics of the trick and teach you how it's done. So the deck to use can be a borrowed deck, can be your deck, can be any deck, can be shuffled before the performance, anything at all. Once the deck's been shuffled, now it's your part to do it. What you need to do is take note of the bottom card and the top card. So for this instance, it's the Queen of Diamonds and the Two of Hearts. What you need to do when you're saying you're going to make a prediction, you need to look through and find the alternate of that. So Two of Hearts and Queen of Diamonds. You can do it different ways. You can do find a Queen of Hearts, so you go off the other suit, or you can find the Two of Diamonds and find the other suit. The way I prefer to do it is to get the alternate suit. So instead of a diamond or a heart, you get a spade or a club. So you take the cards and you just have a look through. So for this example, So there we go. So there's one prediction card, which is the opposite of the two of hearts. It's a black card instead of a red card. And the next one is obviously the queen of diamonds. So you want to find a black queen. So there we go. And that's the basic setup. From there, it's all down to the spectator. They do all the hard work. You have your two prediction cards. What you need to do is give the spectator the deck face down so they can't see the bottom card. And what they're going to do is start to deal down. And that first card that they place down is your alternate queen. So again, they can do as many as they want. I would normally go up to 17 or 18. So then they can stop whenever they want. But if they start to do more than half of the deck, I would say you can stop anytime you want, they would stop. Now the spectator has dealt them down, what you need to do is remember what that bottom card was so in this instance, it's a two of hearts. So my predicted card is a two of spades. So I'll pick that up, put that on the deck, face up. Now let's face up, you put the rest of the cards on there. So the situation that you currently have when you're looking through, is that two of spades is next to two of hearts and they're facing each other. So now you have that done, you get the spectator to pick up the deck again and do the same as before. So then you can deal down cards and you can stop whenever you want. And again, this is a free choice, so they can stop whenever they want. You take the other prediction card, which in this case is the other queen, place that face up, put the rest of the cards on top. And all the hard work is done, the spectator's done it all, and now it's just to look through. So the way I like to do it is to say, so we look through the cards here, and you see the chosen card, so that was my prediction card. 
So what I'm going to do is take out the prediction card and the card above that which is facing it. And put that down on the table so you can still see the prediction card and the back of the card. You look through, find the other prediction card which is there and do the same with that. And what you can do is take the deck and put it back away or give them it back. So now the situation you're left with on the table is you have your two prediction cards face up and two face down cards. And all you need to do is either you can turn them over or get the spectator to turn them over. And when they do, they are the matching cards, which is like the Gemini twin cards. And that's it. So yeah, that was a really nice, easy self-working card magic trick. And I'm going to be doing another video based on the same concept, but regarding the four aces. So what you can do is take two aces out of the deck and place them down and say that you are going to telepathically talk to the spectator and when they deal down you're going to make them stop on the exact card which is going to be another ace and obviously with the same concept as this that's what will happen and you'll end up with all four aces as a presentation so yeah hope you enjoyed that card trick and if you want any more self-working card magic tricks leave a comment below and i'll do some more for you if you haven't subscribed already please hit the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon and that way you'll be notified when new videos come online and also if you want any clothing then check out INX Clothing. The link's in the description below. That's my clothing company. We do a lot of different clothing designs and things like that. This is a new Cardis design which I've created. So yeah, you can go on there and buy it. And until next time, see ya.